Coming to you from our GIS studios, I'm Nisha Charles and this is your Midday News Brief. St. Lucia has broken ground for the construction of Cabot St. Lucia, a new golf resort at Point Hardy, Cap Estate. The golf course is being constructed by Cabot Lynx, Nova Scotia's world-renowned golf resort. Cabot St. Lucia will feature an 18-hole golf course called Cabot Point. Resort amenities are expected to include a clubhouse, a 50-room boutique hotel, three restaurants, retail shops, a spa and upscale homes ranging from $760,000 to $10 million. The golf course will be designed by World Golf Hall of Fame member Ben Crenshaw and his design partner Bill Kaur, whose U.S. firm has drafted some of the world's top modern courses. Cabot St. Lucia is set to open in 2021. The Japan International Corporation System recently made a donation of equipment and an ambulance to the St. Lucia Fire Service. According to Deputy Chief Economist in the Ministry of Economic Development, Kerry Joseph, upon submission of the St. Lucia Fire Service's 2017 budget, the ministry saw that the government was unable to foot the bill. As a result, the ministry sought the assistance of the Japan International Corporation System under the Japan Aid Social and Economic Development Project. The project aims to provide a grant fund for the purchase of material and equipment manufactured by Japanese companies with a view to contribute to the disaster management in St. Lucia. The St. Lucia Parliament has passed a bill which will facilitate the island's participation in further ensuring citizen security across the region. The bill, titled Caribbean Treaty on Mutual Legal Assistance in Serious Criminal Matters, was passed in the lower house last week. It was the next step in a process that began 14 years ago. In July 2005, St. Lucia signed the Caribbean Treaty on Mutual Legal Assistance in Serious Criminal Matters along with other CARICOM states. The treaty provides for each signatory to give support in keeping with their laws the widest measure of assistance at any stage of an investigation, prosecution and judicial proceedings in relation to serious crimes. And that's all for the Midday News Brief. Thanks for tuning in.